All right, I don't watch The Amazing Atheist anymore. I never really have much, but I haven't seen anything for quite a while. But this uh, video on bullying that I'll link to came to my attention. Basically, defends the bullies, says we shouldn't be uh, whatever, I don't know, uh, deifying or whatever word to use, the, the bullies. I mean, the, uh, the victims that commit suicide. We shouldn't be romanticizing suicide, which is not what's going on. What's going on, if anything, is the demonization of bullies. You know, the subject of bullies brings out uh, my darkest side, you know, beware lest you fight monsters that you might come one, become one yourself, kind of a thing. Because, uh, you know, I just what they don't get is that you know the the, the the basic grain of truth is this advice: stand up to bullies. But not everybody can. You know, there was this kid in my high school. Uh, he didn't. He went on probably to some special program later, but he was like. I don't even know if it's even possible to be borderline down syndrome or exactly how that works. But, you know, it, it looked like that. He, he did not have the strength or, or emotional acumen to deal with the bullies. And these people are like, well, he should just fight back. They don't even know the situations of these people. Oh, well, they must have been weak. Yeah, well, maybe they were strong in the area of playing a cello or something, you know. It's like if somebody goes into a dangerous part of park at night, and gets mugged. The mugger is the criminal. You could say, oh, well, they were stupid. But the point you go to the next step and say, it's their own fault, is you're just a coward. You're like, don't go in that whole area of town and other people, you know, thank God for the people brave enough or even stupid enough to go into that part of town and say, you know what, I like a, a walk at night and I'm going to take it. The criminals are the criminals. Okay, they got beat up. They paid their price for their decision to endanger themselves. As a society, we punish the criminals, and they weren't criminals walking through a park at a time of night when all the cowards say, you've got to leave that to these other people, okay? And what they really don't get is that, yeah, that grain of truth that standing up to bullies works, that's what we're supposed to do. If you, The cowards might stand up to the bully that's bullying them, but they don't stand up to the bully that's bullying someone else. They're like, oh, thank God, that's not my problem. Now, if you're really strong, stand up to all the bullies. You know, it's harassment, okay? Yeah, it's true that it works. I mean, I was so confrontational, and my ability not to be more confrontational is pretty consciously built, you know, because I didn't want to be a jerk. And that's probably why it comes out when I'm dealing with bullies, because suddenly even I feel justified in, 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 in ridiculing them or, or making them cry or all of these things bullies like to do. And that's the beware becoming a monster part. But if you really believe the answer to bullies is to stand up to them, stand up to them. All these people going, oh, well, I was bullied and I stood up to them. Yeah, well, sometimes the bullies are, are a whole culture. There's a whole gang. Often there's teachers and administrators that, that have their own frustrations and problems. And they think like, like the amazing atheists that, oh, it's just a part of life. And they even think, oh, well, the jocks are just asserting their alpha. It's just natural. And some people have told me that. It's natural. It's slavery. Who cares? It's natural for me to, to want to fight those people, too. Yeah. You know, you can advise, oh, go hit them back. It, it, violence is the only answer. Well, some people don't have that available. And whether it's emotional or literally physically, it doesn't matter. The criminals are the bullies. That's harassment. And I was confrontational enough. Um, you know, I, I, was, I moved schools twice a year. I got into situations where people were trying to bully me. One time I basically had, you know, all of the popular kids in class, and most of the class, they were all just hating me as an outsider. You know, I flipped off one of the popular kids, and he said, oh, he flipped me off, and blah, 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 and all this religious stuff like that made me a bad person. Whatever, they looked so weak. I didn't even, I didn't experience that as bullying. It was conflict, but I didn't even experience as bullying. The, the only time I can remember, I was sitting here trying to remember, was I ever bullied, was one time riding home from school. I think it was about sixth grade. I had to ride my bike a couple miles to and from school, came around a corner, and a couple of high school kids grabbed my bike and stopped me and harassed me for about a half an hour. And I tried standing up to them, didn't work. You know, eventually I cried, you know, and that wasn't entirely sincere either. It was more like another gambit, and it worked. And I'm fine with that, you know. Uh, you've got to, to fight and blame the bullies, and you know what else? 
if if you really want to be Mr. Courageous Strong, then you'll fight the rest of the bullies too. You know, this whole thing of people that when I was in high school, people uh, that committed suicide, they were considered losers. Yeah, and they were considered losers before too, right? Well, here's the thing. You know, in my high school, we had uh, somebody trying to commit suicide, but she failed. It was a cry for help and attention. She she failed. These people didn't. They decided, hey, this isn't a life worth living. They couldn't see it was going to get better, and maybe it wasn't. We don't know. And they just said, it's not a life worth living. And that act of courage that was much stronger than these people, like uh, the amazing atheist, who instead just became callous, you know, had excuses for for not having compassion, because after all, they were bullied too. Why should they have compassion for a fellow victim? No, they should just tell them it's a part of life, and that's how you learn. But... Yeah, well, that's not how it works, you know. An amazing atheist, you know, he made a second video about, oh, I'm surprised people didn't agree with that. Uh, yeah, you know what? You make extra channels where you can try to express yourself, because you're a slave to, to low-watt internet fame. Just pathetic low wattage internet fame, you know. I share a sentiment with the amazing atheists that sort of looks down on or at least disvalues, you know, the way pop stars pander to their audience. At least they're getting paid. They're making a good living. They're gonna they're gonna survive because of it. I mean you're doing it for a hundred thousand people looking for something to do between South Park episodes. There's so many people in that thread too that are that have been bullied and that to well, I know because it only stopped when I stood up, or this or that or the other. Well, sometimes the situation isn't like that. Why don't you have sympathy? It's the only way, and he stopped bullying me, or, and then the next day he shook my hand. He respected me. Who cares about the bully's respect? It's better not to have their respect. <sighs> really, really is annoying. To blame the victim bullshit from people that have been victimized and then they don't even know that yeah dude you didn't get beat up by that bully but you were emotionally scarred because now you're callous and you think that it's it's just part of life and it's a good lesson and if you're ever a school administrator uh, if you should ever reach the heights of school administration um, you're gonna be the kind of asshole uh, that we parents have to deal with when there's bullying that want to tell us uh, the same things the amazing atheist is telling us. Uh, we shouldn't care that it's just it's just what kids do. It's just natural. It's just bioevolutionary. Yeah, so slavery. Who cares? Besides, it's it's bullshit. It's dysfunction. You know, the whole social dynamic of establishing a pecking order that disgusts me too. But it is sort of natural. And we don't have to get into it, but it is sort of people trying to find their territory and place and, and fit in or change the space that they have to fit into. Bullying is different. Bullying is because of an emotional dysfunction and slavery and oppression and, 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 and an asshole dad that makes the kid feel small. So that kid who can't stand up to his dad goes and uh, bullies somebody weaker than him. You know, and the people that really espouse this philosophy, call them Nazis, okay? And what did they do in the end? They're like, you know, Hitler's in his bunker. You know, he's not going to surrender and save, you know, 100,000 German lives. No, because the Germans were weak and they deserved to die. And then what did he do in the end? <laughs> yeah, they're the weak ones. That's why standing up to bullies works. It works a lot better than standing up to muggers. Is because they're the weak ones. You want to make a video criticizing people that have committed suicide because they couldn't handle this culture of bullying, knowing full well that there's many more kids in that school getting bullied that will handle it that way, or they'll try to stand up and get beat up, or they won't, or whatever, and they'll just move on. And you're going to act like the problem is that we're saying there's a problem with bullying. Yeah. Well... It's just funny that so many victims of bullying have that attitude. You know, I've never let myself be a victim of bullying. And as a result, I don't think anybody should have to. And if you're unable to stand up to bullying, then I think uh, that is your problem. But the bully's problem should be you know, with the establishment. They should get in trouble. They should be 
countered. If you come into a video chiming, yeah, that's right, all oh, those dumb idiots, weak, suicidal people. You know, your little stray, little pot shots on the internet. Someone like me should come in and call you on it. Try to stop me.